Hello, Karen. We meet at Mobile World Congress 2018 in Barcelona, and it is a very nice surprise to discover here a research and development institute that is uh, working for the companies to understand what 5G is and what are the next developments. Uh, what is your role in the 5G era? How would you describe it? Hi, it's Roxana. So, what we show here is uh, some possibilities how you can use 5G for your industrial applications. So, we present on one side the position and within 5G this is very precise the possibilities and we show also low latency communication and I myself I'm here as a technology advisor so I really try to describe what we do and how it can be used. When did you start to, to work at a 5G project? Oh, this is some years ago, so I think we started three, four years ago working on 5G because it was on the horizon. But the technology we show here, we have to experience in more than 20 years. Like positioning we're doing 20, 22 years uh, in Nuremberg. The mobile operators are taking plenty of 5G trials. Yeah. Do you see the evolution of the technology? Do you see different requirements? How would you perceive uh, this uh, data collection from the trials? Yeah, I think the 5G is uh, in the beginning there were some some example everybody was using like uh, media streams and anything like that. Uh, and we are starting now to focus more on industry applications because our customers are more the industry. In Germany we have the industry 4.0, so there are really applications to improve logistic processes to improve uh, communication with machinery. So this is our focus and I think there will be also the people who are first implementing 5G because they really have a return of their investment very fast. Fraunhofer Institute is working in Germany at a 5G project and uh, we like to say together that you are thinking for the companies. <laughs> uh, what are your first recommendations from your 5G trial? Yeah, so um, we um, there are some trials going on and we are just, uh, like we see it here, we have a testing application center where we start to really use 5G with our industry partners. So uh, it is starting now to really see where are the advantages of 5G. So I think there will be, um, one advantage will be that you have one technology which you can use for several applications. Like you can do a very um, good communication after 5G and also positioning, because at the moment you have to use this technology for this application and this technology for that application. And with 5G we can handle many applications in with one technology. And this is the thing I think there's a really advantage for 5G. How are you going to, to continue your project? Are you going to work with the mobile operators or are you going to participate in European funds or something like that? How it will be your project from a research and development institution point of view? Yes, uh, as a research and development company we are um, we have the brains and the technology. So uh, we preparing technologies, we do first developments and then it's part that we cooperate with the industry or we're doing research projects to, to go further. So it's not that there is a 5G Fraunhofer product on the market. It's every time a company which is uh, working with us and they say, okay, we like, like to realize this or that and then we work for them. So it's really that we offer our brains to the market and our ideas. You also develop here the LTE and IoT uh, yes, part. Yes. What are your results? Uh, we have first results uh, working with the industry to improve logistic processes. So like you see here, if we have the position, you can really have uh, real-time uh, information about where are your goods in a company, in a production process. So this is uh, really helps to improve uh, processes and production processes. Um, also, um, let me see the first. This is one, one first try we have and there we see, okay, there's really a big chance for 5G. I think this is, this is the first one. And we see in the next two, three years what all will be happen because we start with our test and application center, we have it still running, but with all the 5G infrastructure we will have the there end of this year, beginning of next year, and then we have more and more industry tries in this test bed and we'll see what can be used. And so there's a special program in Bavaria, it's um, Bavaria Digital 2, where we really get also the support from, from the Bavarian state to make tries with the companies in Bavaria. With heart here, several uh, CEOs of uh, big companies yes. uh, like Ericsson or Nokia uh, stating that Europe is not the first one in uh, 5G developments because of uh, USA and Asia regions are starting. 
to, to develop much uh, much sooner than Europe. Do you agree with them? Uh, I think this is depending on which uh, application you look. I think with the Olympic Games uh, it was clear that in Asia we'll have the first 5G uh, tries. But if you see the sanitation for 5G is not completed yet, so it's still not 100% 5G, so it's a little bit nearby 5G but there is one to two years uh, if there are really 5G commercial uh, infrastructures on the market. So um, um, I've seen the Olympic Games really pushed uh, 5Gs uh, but I think the, there's a time uh, where the industry companies will be, uh, come more and more with these industry applications. They will also push 5G, the introduction of 5G. Are you going to develop further projects in 5G? Yes, yes, yes. So at the moment it's the beginning. So like I said, we're doing sometimes uh, 10, 20 years development in one uh, topic. And with uh, Industry 4.0 we started five, six years ago. Now we, three, four years we started with 5G. So there are some years to go with we have done um, that idea. So we have so many ideas what we can do. So it really takes some years to realize all this idea, then to test it, then to bring it together with our customers on the market. How big is the team? The team, uh, it's uh, in uh, Nuremberg, we have 200 people working on positioning and networks and in Erlangen, there's the, the main institute, there is also at least uh, 60 to 80 people on the 5G topic. We see here a live uh, streaming from your laboratory in yes. Germany. So what we see here is uh, it's our test and application center and we have this uh, green dots, the green dots are the positioning uh, via a 5G like architecture. So there are 12 antennas in uh, this test and application center and we have the tags and the tags are uh, uh, positioned with accuracy around 10 to 15 centimeters. What we see on the right side is uh, communication. Uh, so if you have a uh, normally communication via Wi-Fi, you have really a chitter, so um, the, the, the delay from the signal is high and low and high and low and this is really a problem. Uh, for example, like here, if you're doing pictures in an industrial process, it's very important that you really have the right picture. On the, um, if you see it here, if the delay is very big, you every time have the wrong picture. If it is small, you have a, a perfect picture. And we improve this delay um, with a development for LTE and we will also do this for 5G. And if we look here, now you see the, 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 the vehicle is uh, moving. <laughs> and uh, if it is moving, you will see the dots are following the vehicle. It's working 24 hours? Yes, it's working 24 hours for the fair. And we will have also test tries uh, the next month where we have a production line, a complete production line in this test and application center.